you follow the Freud and Tyler Institute link you get to this page uh, you click on start sequences and you get the sequences applet and the graph applet that open up together um, arrow hand so when you're hovering over the numbers it's a hand and you can drag that onto the workspace I just want to define that I want this one to be the end terms so I type in n and this one's going to be the equation for 100 times by 1.1 to the power of x I've used the midpoint decimal for times Germans use it a lot just so there's no confusion with the variable x so I go back to the applet and I'm going to type that into here so I want 100 times by 1.1 to the power of n and press enter nice feature in this it creates irrational numbers they can't be expressed using fractions by definition never repeating never occurring so I change the decimal and then I can see if I compare that to the sequence what students can do see if they've matched up correctly our n terms don't start till n equals 3 so I go back to the applet and I say okay I want the n term to start n equals 3 do I get the same ones and then I can add that to the graph on this drop down arrow I just say add to graph and I can see that there if they then want to check the next ones the other nice feature I think is they just tap it in the n squared term and they can add that one to the graph as well once they've maybe ramped that up to n equals 2 and add to graph and then they compare the sequences and how quickly they increase nice little applet